So I, over the past week, have spent time testing different Android emulators on this Mac Mini M4 just to find out the best one. That's give me the ability to play FPS mobile games smoothly and even run some casual app on it. And after I've done different actual tests from performance, features, turmoil, and resources, the best one is calling Moomoo Player Pro. So what makes this Android emulator the best one for Mac Mini M4? This is Tommy, and let's find out. The first thing we look into an app is its compatibility. Not Android emulator, I mean for every application, it's supposed to open directly without lowering your securities or integrate the third-party app or even tweaking your Mac setting just to open it. And yeah, Moomoo Moo Player Pro is built exclusively for Mac with the Apple Silicon chip. So it's not only works seamlessly with the current Mac OS Sequoia, but also able to take the full advantage of the M4 architectures on this Mac Mini. So on the settings, you will have a full control of how powerful you want your Android emulator to be. It's pretty straightforward to allocate resources like CPUs and memory. For example, if you want to run 2D applications, which is not require much rendering, you should select the energy saving or balance profiles. On the other hand, high performance will be essential if you're aiming to play graphical demanding games with a lot of effects, combat, and shader. And there's actually a custom options where you can assign even more CPUs and RAM for your emulator. I personally devote half of my spec to Moomoo Player Pro with 5 cores of CPUs and 8GB of memories. So for any software, when it first released, it always have a lot of crashes and bugs and incompatible. And Moomoo Player Pro is not an exception. When I first try it in the beta stage, it has a lot of crash and also many apps are incompatible. But after 7 months of using it, I've seen things are getting much better after every update. It's now run pretty stable with a wide range of compatible games from small 2D to high graphic demands games like Genshin Impact, Wuthering Wave, or Fortnite. And part of this optimization is thanks to many integrated tunes like on the performance tab, we have the CPU fast math which help to accelerate graphic processing. Also the frame rate cap settings at a certain FPS to ensure a stable game performance. And then on the display tab where you can set the resolution up to 4K with high pixel density and enable the graphic enhancement feature to upscale the overall game image quality. So given with all of that support, plus the Mac Mini M4 also support the graphical technology ray tracing. Games like Wuthering Waste is not only run stably, but also deliver incredible visual with realistic reflection. The feels and look of the flower, grass, and sunflowering environment is just beautiful and detailed. And talking about optimization, I think I have to give the in-game control a credit too. It actually contributes half of the gaming experience. So in my observations, the in-game movement working very consistent with the keyboard and mouse. I haven't experienced any input lag at all while I'm playing. The emulator also has the key mapping tunes where you can easily customize different key which correspond to the game action with your mouse. So let's say I want to set the auto run action with the AK I'm gonna right click on that actions and press A on my keyboard to assign them together. Now if you play popular FPS game like PUBG Mobile, Mobile Play Pro even include different presets to choose from. And if you have a controller, whenever you turn it on, the emulator will immediately detect and switch to controller mode automatically. And yes, you can use the same key mapping customizing method to your controller. Or there's few games now actually utilize auto key mapping detections for a controller like Fortnite, which making it even easier to start playing without manual configuration. So with all of that being said, you might be wondering like, does this emulator consume much of the Mac resources and will it heat up so quickly? just to provide such a great experience. Well, to answer these questions, I actually played different games continuously in an hour, and uh, it turned out the internal temperatures is around 40 to 45 Celsius, which equivalents when you open any other applications which require GPUs on your Mac. 
Also, it was using around 8 to 10% of your CPUs and over 60% of the unified memories. The good thing is Apple has increased to 16GB of RAM, so even with high graphic demand games, it now can run totally fine without worrying about straining the system. Besides gaming, there's actually some useful features from Mumu Player Pro that you might not notice. And one of which is installing applications directly from an ABK files, which usually for applications that in the beta stage or not available on the Play Store anymore. So there's two ways you can do so. The first one is accessing from the tunes where you can find the install APK options. Just click on that and import the APK files from your Mac folder, and then it will automatically install after selection. Uh, another way could be helpful if you have multiple APK files, just drop everything into the shared folder between Mumu Player Pro and your Mac, and then you'll be able to install within the emulator. And lastly, the reason why I think this is the best Android emulator for Mac Mini M4, or even any Mac with the M chip. Very obvious, it's not free. Well, I know this is unpopular opinions, right? But I personally prefer to pay for something that works as I expected, other than spending time to try other third parties and unknown applications that might break my computers, also at the same time might not work. And also the privilege of having a subscription, the privilege <laughs> is you now turning to a customer, not an user anymore. So you can get the support whenever you want. And if you are, are not a technical person, this is super helpful, trust me. So whenever I got any technical errors, I just send them a message on Discord and definitely got the reply after that. The only thing that I think they could done better is lower the price so more people can afford the software. Because now I think uh, a lot of people saying it's too pricely. And they did that. So the team just sent me a quick note for the New Year promotion, which is 70% off of the annual plan from December 31st, 2024 to January 31st, 2025. That actually is the best deal ever. I will leave the link and all of the information in the video description for you to learn more. And as 2025 come to an end, I want to thank you all for all of your support. All of my 3,000 subscribers, that's very huge to me. And uh, I want to give back as well another five free monthly membership for Mumu Player Pro. So we're gonna play a little game. Just comment your answer to this question. What's your favorite features of Mumu Player Pro? And I will draw the winners in the upcoming videos. Thank you all for watching. The next part will be the draw from our previous giveaway for Mumu Player Pro. So whoever wins, please contact me on my Instagram to receive your prize. And I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.